Sometimes I wish I was a blue job up in the sky I wouldn't have to walk if I could fly But I'll be a brown job until I die With ten years to go in the other The sergeant that signed me up Had a face like the back of the truck that's my person, I don't know you. That's a handicap spot. Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, the Camo Painted Legs. Today we're going over the American 180. Before we dive in, we gotta cover some important issues. Important issues such as Patreon. If you enjoy this channel, wanna support it, Patreon is greatly appreciated, as well as merchandise. Now we have to thank the sponsors of this video, which is going to be Americana Pipe Dream Apparel. Now Americana Pipe Dream is a wonderful Millsurp company. They do a lot of fun Millsurpy things and they help out the channel very much and I love them dearly. But one thing about them is they're also a bunch of Zoomers. It's like TikTok came to life and is now in front of me in my real eyes. I love these guys dearly and they've been great friends of the channel so it's an awesome to finally get them out here in a video. What would you like to tell the audience? Thank you for watching administrative results. This man is kick ass. So Brandon, tell me a little bit about the American 180. So the American 180 is, uh, obviously as you've seen, it is a fully automatic open bolt, excuse me, it is a very, very fast semi-automatic open airsoft bolt. Airsoft gun. Air, airsoft gun. Airsoft open bolt 22 caliber airsoft gun. And uh, it was, uh, it saw a little bit of use in American law enforcement, uh, prisons, riots, whatever, uh, peaceful protests, mm. wherever it was applicable, uh, but also actually used by a particular special forces group of a particular country that does not exist anymore and it makes a lot of people on the internet very upset. Yeah, yeah. What military was that? Rhodesia. Um. <clears throat> ah, it's... Yeah, so what we're doing here is um, what the American 180 is best at, which is making you spend a lot of time loading up drums. Yep. I've got the speed loader here, which helps just a little bit, but not a lot. The reason we're talking right now is because if we spent all this time loading mags and not talking, well, the sun would go down. It'd be 12 a.m. in the morning. Yep, and uh, you know, spending all that time in silence, one of us is likely to just hurt the other. That's against guidelines, isn't it? Or kiss the other. Yeah, kiss the other. I like that, I prefer, I'm a lover, not a fighter. The reason they call this the American 180 is it takes 180 minutes to load. Yeah, so what's interesting about this too is that the it's actually a multi-level magazine. So yeah. uh, when you finish, uh, you complete one entire like row here, it pushes the, uh, the follower basically is pushing downward. I love the American 180 because back then they didn't have any other options for less than lethal. And so they're like, what's the smallest pistol caliber we have? Oh, the 22. We'll just shoot people in the legs with 22 because it's not going to kill them, but it'll sure stop them. The history of the American 180 is absolutely insane. We had one instance that we talked about in your video where they, they just slaughtered these robbers with it, put about, what, 200 rounds into their car and it killed two people? Yeah, I think it killed one person, uh, wounded the, I, I don't really remember the details of the case, but it is funny that this was, con I guess, the inception of uh, less lethal, because truly back then it wasn't non-lethal, it was just less lethal than a 357 Magnum or a 12 gauge. What, what were they gonna do other than just like hit people with a crowbar back then? They're like, well, we need something that goes far that's less than lethal, and it's like, oh, 22s, let's shoot them really fast. And you know, for riot control, I can't really think of a better thing uh, to control a riot than an American 180, because that is definitely a to whom it may concern type of weapon. <laughs> I'm going to kill you with an American 180 at the here, if you ever accept our invite. In Minecraft. <laughs> no, in real life. <laughs> now this is a unique firearm, so please, I have zero experience on this besides, I have no experience. No gun. experience, no, no, no. But wow, wow, Brandon Herrero, what a gun guy, what a gun guy. We're a little spurgy today, it's all right. So basically what this is, is an open bolt. So what that means is that uh, it fires by releasing, when you pull the trigger, it releases the bolt, mm. and that action of that slamming forward is what oh. fires the round. So you actually pull the bolt back, and it stays back okay. until you pull, pull the trigger. Um, the magazines are a little weird if you can't tell. So what you actually have is a two-part mag. Here you have the actual body of the magazine, mm -hmm. but there's no spring that rotates it, otherwise it would be shitting out this the ammo the whole time, right? We're gonna 
put this in it. Now this is the winder. Oh, wow. So this is like the spring of the magazine is external to the magazine. So what you're gonna do is there's two little balls there, mm -hmm. so to speak. You're gonna go ahead and put that have those. in the center. Yeah, it's because you're a, you're a man. Can we say that in 2023? Sure. Now that I'm a man, I can do anything. Now I'm a man. Even the smallest things. No, I, that went on way too long. Yeah, that's Keep okay. Going. That's all right. I, I was I was gonna play along with a bit. So I push this through. There's two holes that uh, are receptacles for those balls. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and push them through. Make sure it's fully clipped in. And then now we are going to wind. And so this is what's going to add tension to this. But before we do that, I'm gonna not be an idiot and I'm gonna put this in the gun. There's a little tab up here oh, wow. this fits into and then you just push down from the rear. Can you overwind the gun at all or is it just until it stops? Yes, you can overwind the gun. Okay. Uh, that depends, like there's some of these winders are more finicky than others. So just so we don't overwind it mm. uh, for the time being, you could probably just fire it as is until it stops firing and then we can rewind more if it needs it. Okay, your gun, your rules, sire. Yeah. It's feeling really tense and I'm like, ah, uh, you know what? Let's just not break the one winder we've got today. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. <laughs> hey, admin, mm -hmm. this video is really cool and all. Sun's going down, can I put on pants? No, you must be a man amongst men. I just want jeans. All right, for this next test, Brendan has the white claw penetration test, which I think is a tried and true scientific method. And I greatly appreciate it, but I am gonna throw my own spin on it because he is here and he can sanction it for the uses of science. Today, we're going to do the truly test to see how truly awesome this gun is. That sounds truly scientific to me. Now you can see that I have three Trulies here and that are colored red because it's better to be dead than red. Studying genders in three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Let's check the results, the administrative results. Oh, clearly the gun did its job. Thank you, American 180, very cool. The American 180 is a very cool firearm and a iconic little piece of history. It's like a little Easter egg for my historical firearm friends. This thing, like we were saying earlier, it's all above service in Rhodesia, hence the Rhodesian kit. I think the picture I'm thinking of has a Rhodesian service member and it has a suppressor on the gun as well. So it does propel it into a Bush War style lore, which makes it kind of fun and like a little, yet again, historical Easter egg. The gun is very fun to shoot. It's a very controllable weapon. I can see the appeal and the love. Now for YouTube's sake, this is less than 29 round drum. Uh, it's all CGI shooting that you're seeing. So keep that in mind. The gun, of course, handles very well, 22 caliber being an extremely controllable round. And I can see back in the day, their thought process in a world where it's like, hey, you know, my, my dad just came back from World War II and he used a 30 6 to kill Germans or Japanese. I don't see what's wrong with the idea of using a 22 for less lethal. I mean, you can take down a squirrel, so. I can see why their thought process was of the time. Uh, it's just you got a bunch of arteries in your legs if you're trying to do less lethal stuff. It's kind of a bad idea. It also gives me Thompson-esque vibes with this front foreign right here. So it adds a little sex appeal to the gun. We like that. We like that at the channel. We like the sex appeal. It's always nice. Other than that, it's a very goofy looking design, <laughs> but uh, you know, it works. It does a job rather nicely. I wonder if you can take the stock off. Oh, and you can take the stock off. Check that out. And there she goes, she has run dry. There you are, there you go. She has run dry and, <laughs> and there's no more rounds. So, oh, there's one more. I got him. Gentlemen, if you enjoyed the American 180, I greatly appreciate it. And a big thank you to Brandon Herrera and crew for hosting us and having us out here to use the American 180. Also, thank you to Donut Operator for making a quick guest celebrity star appearance. I like donuts. I really do. All right, let's close out. Let's get out of here. Bye, everybody.
Have you considered joining my Patreon? Will there be a little bit more quad action on there? I seriously thought you were about to throw that on the ground. I'm like, that was really expensive. Please don't. <laughs>